out of bounds. Are you with me, people? Do you understand? Well, you've got to ask me some questions then. What we're trying to do is learn how to find out what broke in my program. When you write in C, you use pointers. And pointers can break if you make a mistake. So I made a broken program. I core dumped it. And I showed you step by step how to find out what line is bad and why is it bad. Step by step. Generate the core. Get the backtrace. Choose the correct frame. And then look at what you got. That won't work if you don't have debugging turned on. That's why we have to do a special compile with minus G for the, for the compiled and the link. And we really, we want to turn off the optimizer. The optimizer does weird things. It'll change the condition, it'll change the loop to make it faster, but then it doesn't match your CC any point. So O0 says, no, don't optimize, just do what the code says. It says while, do a while. It says if, do if, don't optimize. And our problem is out of bounds. Right? Out of bounds. That, be, that means you have some memory. This is your memory. Inside is in bounds. Over there, that's out of bounds. So if you get out of bounds, you went outside your memory into another program, another process. And the computer says, no, no, no. That's why you say call. Python. Python's another programming language, and every time you crash in Python, you get the backtrace automatically. That's part of the Python language. In C, it's not automatic, because C needs to be fast. Doing that is not fast. That's why we have to read while minus G. Minus G says, I don't care if you're slow, I need everything you can tell me. And then minus G turns on the debug control. So try it, try it, long do. What? Modify emitter, modify emitter.c, then make this clean, set your U limit, try hello, you should get a core dump. Try it, step by step. Everything I, I cut and pasted from the screen. Yeah, yeah, please try it. Yes, sir. Yes. And when we generate the topic, when we run on the back, hello to if you turn on minus G when you compile and you uh, you have to do this U limit minus C unlimited. If if you don't do that, no core file. That says allow core dumps. You see, by default we turn off core dumps because we have 50 people, right? If 50 people core dump. No more disk, right? This program is small, it's not a big core dump. But like Firefox, if Firefox core up, 70 meg, boom. Now imagine 500 students core dump today, disk full, right? So we turn it off by default. If you need it, you can turn it on, and, and, and you can turn it on. Turn on cores, yeah. You'll have to remove the core file yourself. That's in the make file. That's one of the rules, right? Was remove core. Make clean. Core is a snapshot of the RAM of your process. That's what it is. It's got some other stuff in it, but mostly it's a snapshot. Every variable. That's why I, I can print MSG, right? When I print MSG, he knows, hey, that's the address, here's the value. Because he's got a snapshot of your RAM. It has every byte from your process. It has the code, it has the heat, it has the global variables, everything from your process. 
That's what a corn up is. Four is the old name for ram. Before ram, they had four. Like a corn up means a copy of all the memory. Today, we don't use corn, we use the ram. But they didn't change the name of the ram. No, they just call it corn up anyway. That's a tradition. <laughs> okay, did you, did you get the cord on the work? Where's your makeup? Yeah. Hey, Paul, you're right. Him, him. Make it clean, get I saw John Tower Time is over there talking to me, watching him, right? He's spying on this glass. He's also got this camera here. Don't be lazy. You learn by doing. Learn by doing. Don't learn by watching. I show you do. Just like Kung Fu. Right? They show you, then you do it, then you get hurt. Ow! No, not like that. You try again. Then someday, you're the new mascot. Yeah, I'm going to go to the 